Joel chapter 3. We're in no rush. For behold, in those days, in that time, I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Gonna regather them. They've been regathered all home. But when it comes to the second advent, when it comes to the millennium, that will be the final regathering. I will gather all nations, America included, if America's still around. It doesn't say excluding, which would lead you to believe that the sheep nation that do get to go in the millennium for the health and blessing of Israel is they are nations out of nations. There are people that they had to hide themselves as the Jew must hide themselves. You realize in World War II when the Nazis came door to door that there were people they had to lie, they had to conceal and hide the Jewish people they had hidden in their house? There's one story it's told that when the Nazis came to this neighborhood that they, the Jews or the people in the house took a a pig or whatever, a cow, whatever it was, and they slain that beast and they poured the blood under the door. So when the Nazis came, they saw the blood. All right, our business is done in this house and moved to the next one. But it says all nations. Friend, if you worship America, and there are plenty of Christians who worship America, you're a fool. And there are people waiting for that Republican uh, uh, Messiah. You're a fool. I will bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Now, you look over verse 12. Let the heathen, that's the Gentiles, be wake, awakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, where I will sit to judge all the heathen around. All right, this is where God's going to separate the sheep from the goat nations, spoken about in Matthew. Now, there is no, right now, today, there's no valley of Jehoshaphat. This is probably the valley of Megiddo, Armageddon. But you know, I believe my God I believe my God knows tomorrow before today. What if later on I'm just I'm just about but what what if there becomes a valley Jehoshaphat that's not already there? God knows more than we know. But that's probably Armageddon. I'll gather all nations. That's the United Nations, and in the United Nations is America. America is one of the, a, a few nations. They can't leave the United Nations. It's in New York City in America. Friend, if I became a leader for 24 hours, I, the first thing I'd do is I would explode the United Nations. Tell them, get out of here. Go somewhere else. Then... I would protect Israel. I call our troops out of the Middle East. I call our troops out of Ukraine. I put all our troops in America. I put all our troops in Israel. Don't you dare mess with Israel. Would be, Mr. President, we got word that the Palestinians they launched a missile into Israel. All right, get all the Jews out of the area. You got 24 hours. I'm getting one of our nuclear submarines. 24 missiles are going to be in the Palestine backyard in 24 hours. In 24 hours, they get the Jews out. I protect Israel at all costs. They're God's people. We're to pray for them. I will, I will bless them that bless you. I will curse them that curse you. I want a blessing. 
for some reason, I couldn't support my missionaries in Israel. I think the website was attacked. I will plead with them for my people, Israel. Israel is God's people. He will plead with them. There are nations, according to Jesus in Matthew, that they help the Jews in the tribulation period. And you know, you know the funny thing about it is they don't even know what they're doing. How's that for reward? Well, you visit me when I was sick. You visit me when I was in jail. You fed me when I was hungry. Excuse me, Jesus. When do we do that to you? When you did it unto my own. When you did it unto my people. When you did it to them. I came unto my own. My own received me not. Some people got Jesus portrayed as this American. He's not American. He's not European. He's not African. He's Jewish. For my heritage, Israel. Again, there are people saying that God's all finished with Israel. Oh, no, he's not. He all finished with you. Whom they have scattered among the nations. Israel's scattered right now. They're in America. They're all over. At the writing of Joe in the time of Daniel, the Jews were not in a place called North America. And parted my land. Friend, that's what the United Nations is doing today. Oh, you got to give up a little for the Palestinians. you got to give up a little for the Jordans. you got to give up a little for your enemies. you got to give up a little more for your enemies. That's today's headline. Listen, that dumb in a rock has no right to be where it is. What has a right to be on that spot is God's temple. Israel. Not no Muslim. Not no Allah. Don't throw Allah in the lake of fire that burns forever. Put Israel back up. We have in our King James Bible the title deed in two places of our Bible where David purchased that land from Arnon. Our Bible, our King James Bible, there's no other Bible, holds the title deed. You ain't the God breaks out the Bible. I say, yeah, David. <clears throat> they have cast lots for my people. Lots is... You know, who gets a short straw? Heads or tails? Pull the lever and the one arm bandit. Cherry, 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 pineapple. There's no voting in the Bible. When the disciples said, okay, we got to re replace Judas. Oh, in favor of masses, raise your hand. No, 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 no. They said, Lord God the Father, I ask you to bless them with these straws or the or the red ball, the black ball, or whoever draws the, num the odd number of eat. Well, however they did it, Lord God, you put in the thing to be, who's going to replace? And what we're talking about in Joel verse 3 is the Jews were put on the slavery flock. They were sold. And there were some cases in history, they, they were put on the, the, the slave market, and they weren't even purchased, and you read about that in another of the prophets. You know, we make a big deal about these Africans being slow enough. Listen, you Africans were put on slave ships by Africans. Okay? You got a problem with slavery in America, go back to Africa and go to your native people because your Africans put those Africans on the ships. You don't know that because you erased the history. They came into the land of Israel and they said, okay, you come on, we're going to sell you. They pulled their children away from their parents. Okay, we're going to sell you. Come on, mama, come on, dad, but we're going to separate you. You're going to Syria and you're going to wherever. You remember... Uh, Naaman's master, the king. They went into Jerusalem. They attacked Jerusalem. They pulled a little slave girl. The little slave girl said, Oh, if you had a prophet here, there was a prophet in Jerusalem. 
That little girl was, was a Jewish girl taken to live amongst Gentiles, the, the unclean. She never seen what pork was. She didn't see the vile and wickedness of Gentiles. You have given a boy for a harlot. Come on, baby, I'll slip you through. But well, what are you going to give me? I got this Jewish boy to be. Okay. Friend, you talk about. Uh, uh, recall. The thing where children are being abducted and sold, sold for slaves. Joel chapter 3, verse 3. Here's a man goes up to a whore. All right, I'll buy you, and he pays with a with a Jewish boy, my people, and sold a girl for wine. Oh, I need a drink. I need a, what do you got? I got this Jewish girl. Oh, I can just imagine what happened to that girl afterwards. That they might drink. God is telling you. God is not a liar. Friend, you better realize if America keeps living in sin and keeps living in sin, keeps rejecting God, oh, you haven't seen the worst yet. Yay. Yay. What have ye to do with me, me, God? Oh, tired Zion. Yeah, tired Zion. These are seaports along the Mediterranean. Up North, Northwest, Israel. Trading port. What's his trading port? They would sell cows. They would sell pigs. They would sell uh, corn, wine, slaves, Jewish slaves, African slaves. All the coasts of Palestine. That's right, along the Mediterranean Sea. Marketing. Friend, I'm sorry to say, but th there's slavery going on in the world today. There are people who will go over to the island nations, and, and even China, or, 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 or those nations over there, and they will give the parents some money, and the parents will sell their children. And if it's a if it's a girl or female, that guy say, "All right, come with me. You're now my wife." In the Islam nations of you know the great Allah, a girl 14 years old, you're my you're my wife now. Come with me. Okay. I don't care what you say. Look at the story of Muhammad. He had a youngster for a bride. The Americans just, oh, you know, they try to hide the truth. They try to whitewash the truth. The Bible doesn't. You know, there are Christians in a Baptist church that they, they sell their children out. They're all in a rave right now. This movie Top Gun has broke all the records. Wait a minute. You're complaining about the price of gas. There's no formula. There's a war in Ukraine. Kids are shooting each other. And you you spent what little money you have with no food on the show. You went to go see a stupid movie and you knew that the ending would be happy and good lucky. You supported a main actor that is a Scientologist as a Christian who's been divorced three times. You wouldn't even let that guy in your church to be a church member in some church. Right into the danger zone. Hey! And every American movie has a happy, good, lucky ending. Where were you in church Sunday night? Did you have church Sunday night? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, I said what I said. 
I'm not afraid. Will you render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your re recompense upon your own head? Whoa, that's some fighting words, God. Are you going to recompense me? You try to recompense me? Well, I, I, I'll put it. And hey, listen, when God recompense, when God's law of sowing and reaping, you're going to get more. You're going to get worse. On your own head. Let's keep reading. Because you have taken my silver and my gold. You know what would be interesting? You know that, that, that the temple of God had gold and silver? You know that, right? You know it had iron and brass? David tells us about it. We learn about that in Ezra and Nehemiah. Now that stuff was taken into Babylon and put into the Babylon treasuries, and it was preserved for when Ezra and Nehemiah, God knew Ezra and Nehemiah was going to come. Where is that gold and silver today? And what is it being used for? You know, silver is used for computers. The motherboards in the computers. Can you imagine that gold or that silver that, or the brass or the iron that came off the temple? Can you imagine the, maybe the filth is being used today? What, now listen, I'm not for tithing. But the money that you turn over to the Lord, you put in a collection plate. I put it in missionary. What's your church do with it? If you belong to the Southern Baptist Church, your money is going to go be paying for lawyers for the next century. For men that, okay, put them in front of a judge and let them take plead of guilty or not guilty according to the law of this nation. But there are going to be some men that they're going to use lawyers and defend the guilty because of who they are. There are people who, who give money to the church and that money gives it to missionary. The missionary, you know what he does? Well, I know this. Oh, Christmas time, we're going to make a shoebox. We had this happen to it. And you got to put, you know, coloring books, crayons, playing cards. Well, I didn't say. They said to my wife Tracy, "What do you put in your box?" Well, we, we put some King James little Bibles we had. No, you can't do that. They won't appreciate that. We got to take those out. You may be support missionaries that go over another, and they don't preach the gospel. And their BVS is just as worse as American BVS. Where's your money going? And for, for men, there's not that many. I'm like, Lord God, I'm giving it to you. What that church does with it, that's between you and them. I have carried you into temples. I mean, excuse me, have carried it into temples. My goodly pleasant thing. God's gold and silver has gone into God's temples. And, and what kills me is how many Baptist churches in America, and there, there's a, there's a well-known preacher, and he had a temple. That's not a name for a, for a Christian Bible-believing assembly. Temple. Our body is the temple, not the building. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem, 
have ye sold slavery unto the Grecians that you might remove them far from their border. All right, how do we get rid of the Jews out of the Jewish state, this Jewish country, the land of God? We'll just sell them. And the, the more and more Jews we get out of the land, the more we can get the land. You remember when God said, I'll gather all nations? This is the plot of the United Nations. Let's get the Jews out of the land. The problem is, which you're not going to, but if you did get the Jews out of the land, you're not going to. But if you did, you know the Fourth World War, you in the Fifth World War, and the Sixth World War you would have? The Arabians would be battling the Catholics, the Catholics would be fighting the Arabians, and they'd be battling the Palestinians, which would the Catholics, which would the Jordanians, which would the United Nations, which would battle America which would battle Russia, and they'd be all fighting for that land. <laughs> Behold, I will raise them up out of a place where you have sold them. So wherever the Jews have been taken, God said, okay, come on, my people. A place prepared for them. And if we are looking at the tribulation period, which we are looking at the tribulation period, and we are looking at history. The Jewish people are going to be put on the slave market again. And they're sold to the Antichrist, they'll be beheaded and killed. I will return your recompense, there's that word again, upon your own head. I will curse them that curse you. I will sell your son and your doors in the hand of children of Judah. So you've got a market today of children being sold. Set a slavery and sexual. This is what Joe's talking about in, in chapter 3, verse 8. Where is the sex trafficking, children trafficking going? You know, America will sell their children. You better believe. Listen, if they will kill a baby in the womb, there, there are women who will leave a baby in a dumpster, a garbage can. I seen a picture last week, I think it was. Have you ever seen those, those deposit boxes at the library? You know, you put it down, you put your books in there, you close it, and it goes into a bin. I see one of them boxes on a blank wall, brick wall of a police station, and a woman puts her baby in that box, opens it, and then closes that box and walks away. And the, and the sign says, no questions asked. There have been cases where they've been caught, and there have been cases where they haven't been caught, where Parents or a mother of a child in America, they sold their child to somebody else. Some cases so they can get drugs. I'm watching a reality program right now, and, it, and these people get so involved in drugs. And well, How many children did you have? Well, I have six of them. Where are they? Well, my, my grandma has one, my mother has two, and we adopt, we'll let three of them go for adoption. And where do you get your money for your drugs? You don't pay your rent? You don't give your food, your children food? You steal from them? You know, we make a big deal about African slaves in America. Have there been Jewish slaves? 
I will, and if there has, I don't know. Well, I'll curse them to curse you. One Jewish slave child. One Jewish slave. Took one fruit. You know, Eve didn't pick a fruit for herself and, and pick the fruit for her husband. She picked the fruit, ate it, and then gave it to him with her. Daughters in the hand of the children of Judah. And they shall sell them to the Sabines. So Israel is going to be, okay, we're going to sell. You sold us, we're going to sell you. And then, oh, the world, uh, you know, it's, the world can do what it wants to Israel. But, oh, the world gets tension. The newspapers get angry. The media gets, oh, a lot of report. Israel attacked it. And a school bus was blown to pieces. Now, nobody was on the school bus, but a school bus was blown up. Never mind the enemies of Israel launched a missile into a hospital in Israel. Never mind that. To a people far off. Why? For the Lord has spoken. You know, it's not good. It's not right, but you got to look at the fact this. This child abduction, this child slavery, this child sexual things, and you know, it, it, it's wrong, it, it's bad, but it may be a prophecy of God. God didn't do it. You and your sin did it. But who reads the book of Job? Now I said, I think I got interrupted. Christians sell their children out. We're not going to church Wednesday because little Darla has tap dancing class. Little Tommy has baseball. Oh, there's a good, good movie on, on, on television Sunday night. Oh, hell, oh, heck with it. Made of, it's too expensive to have air conditioning in our church. So we won't have Sunday night. COVID-19 chased the people away. And a lot of churches are closed. What will, sir, what, what will sell you out in the service of God? We are in a church that doesn't have Sunday night, Sunday night service. Besides, recently, the past year with my sicknesses and all that. But pretty much, we will study the Bible Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday as a family. I told the Lord, if the Lord, well, I don't want it. I don't want the Lord to give me a wife. I will, I will take one night, and I will have a date night or together. You know, I made that. I told the Lord I'd do that. But we got family Bible study. We know they don't do that as a family. They don't even know how to do it as a family, and their lives are ruined and wrecked. And, and their children grow up. Why aren't my children in church? Yeah, I wonder why. Israel, God's people, He's going to round up. He's going to gather them up. And the nations that did ill and curse the Jew, they're going to get a curse. We are looking at Armageddon. We are looking at God is going to judge these nations. And he tells us in, in the Gospel of Matthew, a Jewish Gospel, he'll divide the sheep from the goats, and the goats go to hell. And the sheep go into the millennium for blessing his people. That's the Bible.
but you don't care what your nation does with Israel. You you want your nation so I can have my gun and keep cheap gas prices so I don't go to church. I mean, the family wants to go to Mickey Ratman. And of course we go Mickey Ratman on the church man. Why don't my children want to serve the Lord? 